A good Monday morning to you all. I'm Scott Belford, joined as always by the best co-host in the biz, Adam Mack. This is the walk-off. And, buddy, we've got lots to get to here, but I want to start with just talking about how much I need to back off the Twitter a little bit. I spent <laughs> I spent most of my weekend not intelligently responding to people but actually acting like a 14 year old child on twitter i know that uh and we are going to get to these ronald acuna rumors that have come out and the fact that the jays have been mentioned as one of the teams that may be kicking the uh, tires on that of course uh bichette would be a part of that with dansby swanson as the free agent leaving Atlanta, maybe not. We'll see what happens, obviously. But, you know, Alex Anthopoulos has always been a very thorough general manager and has taken some very unique steps to filling holes within his organization. And, of course, the the fact that Bichette may be available, it does kind of make a little bit of sense. We're going to get way more into that. My thing was there's so many Braves fans right now, buddy, that are – they hate this. Fair, you know. yeah. I'm not even upset that they hate these rumors. I totally get that. But a little delusional on what they would want for a return. You know, like th- there's a few of them, a few Braves podcasters who have said it would take Tay Oscar, Bichette, Manoa, and prospects to get a Cunha. And I'm like, no, it wouldn't. I-, I just can't accept that. I can't accept that. And buddy, I know that I'm arguing with 14-year-olds online. By the way, all of you 14-year-old folks watching the walk-off, we appreciate you muchly. I am not saying this. <laughs> I'm not saying this. I'm saying that I'm a 40 year old man and I need to grow the hell up and stop arguing with 14 year olds online. I mean, maybe there are the, the hope, the dream is here, Adam, is that they're just other 40 year olds with nothing better to do with their time for that. (laughs) Uh, What's the more controversial rumor going around on Twitter? I want, you're the Twitter guy. So I want your opinion on this. Uh, Ronald Acuna being shopped or pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly giving insulin away for free (laughs) (laughs) Twitter is wild right now man Twitter is just a mess right now you can just verify whatever you want it's so it's it's so okay sorry that was my one of my favorite criticisms of that Ronald Acuna rumor tweet was someone had tweeted like what we're supposed to take the word for a guy who can't afford eight dollars a month to get verified (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh my god such a crap show right now oh man I love it. it's so honestly that insulin thing is wild like that wild. tanked that tanked their stock market billions like their of stock dollars. prices like yeah. billions of dollars it cost them it's like it's it is hilarious just anyone with eight dollars can now go on there and be like i'm this guy yeah <laughs> yeah amazing we should make a, okay. an account spend eight dollars make like a a verified Yankees account and says like, well, we wish Aaron judge the best of luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Let's Sincerely get... the New York Yankees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exiting the Twitter verse and into reality here. We do have a pile of stuff to get to the rule five draft is coming up, but of course the Jays are trying to shore up that 40 man roster. They've made a few moves. So we'll get to that. There's a fork in the road here for the blue Jays and there are directions that they can take that maybe we haven't thought of. So we are going to get into what direction they possibly could wind up going this off season, the free agent reliever market. My goodness, dude, these guys are getting paid and the market is thinning pretty quickly here. We'll touch on available relievers. Ronald Acuna, we talked about it right off the top there, right? Twitter is going insane. Braves fans are losing their mind, but not just fringe guys are talking about it. We even had John Morosi mention the fact that Acuna could be available. So we will get into that. Houston Astros are doing some weird stuff, for lack of a better term, clearing out their front office. We'll talk the Astros. And we are still sitting here waiting for the first shoe to drop for big-time positional free agents. We've only seen the reliever market moving. So we're going to kind of speculate on who we think 
could be the first one, the first domino. We really appreciate all of you within the walk-off community. This thing continues to grow and become an animal of its own. It's a little bit overwhelming, but honestly, we love talking Blue Jays baseball and all the interaction that you folks are involved with us. Thank you so much. Discord, feel free to join it. That is always free. The show, or, uh, the link is in the show notes. You can follow us on Twitter at Walk Off Podcast, on Instagram, the Walk Off Podcast. And if you are watching on YouTube currently and you're not subscribed, We'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. All the best, everybody. Cheers.